WNTN Radio Boston, welcome back to Italy Echo, Boston's only Italian-American bilingual show. Today, my guest is award winner, host and producer, Karina Michelle. She talks to guests about their journey to success. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Thank you. So first and foremost, when did you come up for the idea for the Coffee with Karina podcast? Yeah, so it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting question, actually. It happened during the pandemic. So usually I have projects going on, you know, that I'm producing different film projects and that kind of thing. And all that stuff had stopped, you know, like most things during that time, it all shut down. So I had started um, writing for um, a publication called Authority Magazine just to have something to do, you know, because there really was nothing. So so I was doing that. And um, my editor, who's, who's great, and I still work with him today a little bit, he said to me, you know, maybe you should try and... Uh, you know, record these. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Because most of it was done by email at that point, which is totally different. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a podcast. It was nothing, I'd never thought of anything like it before. You know, it was just kind of like, oh, okay, this is something fun. Maybe I'll try out. So that's kind of how it came up. Great, great. And by the way, your name, Karina, in Italian means cute. So you have a very cute name. (laughs) Thank you. Yes, I'm from England originally, and we would always go over to Italy when um, when I was younger. And I remember my mom telling me that I was like, oh, okay, that's a good name. It's cute. Yes. yes. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. So, how would you describe what the podcast is about? Yeah. So the podcast really, when I thought about what I would be asking people, was really about their journey. So I wanted to know, you know, haven't worked in entertainment and been an actress for a long time in LA. I, I was always fascinated by like the journey, you know, how did people get from, you know, maybe living in a small town and then they were all of a sudden, you know, successful actors or musicians or, so I really was interested by, by that, um, you know, by that time, like what happened, what was it like a bunch of events or, you know, just a story, I guess. So um, that's really what the podcast is about. And it was interesting. Someone actually said to me on an interview a couple of days ago, they said, your podcast reminds me of just life. You know, you talk about life and what happens and, you know, how, yeah, really how things happen and how you get there. Thank you, Karina. And any guests or favorite episodes come to mind? It's so funny. I've I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I feel like it's a blur. When I think of the guests. <laughs> which is not good. Right? You probably feel that too sometimes. But no. Um, favorite guest? Yes. Um, I have someone that I interviewed who was actually in a, um in my book as well that I did on Nashville Rising Stars, and his name is Rally Keegan, and he's mm. he's a small country star who's definitely getting bigger right now, but he was just so authentic and so honest in his interview when I was asking him, you know, how did, how did he get his start? And he said, well, you know, my mother um, was in prison and he was actually born when his mother was in prison. And then he came up with all this music and he ended up meeting his mother later on. And, you know, it was just such a, such a, um, you know, just very authentic way that he brought it up and was talking. And I love that when that happens, because a lot of times when you start an interview, you have no idea as you probably know where it's going to go, you know, you start, the, you don't know how it's going to, how it's going to come out. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm just always blown away at how um, the honesty and even to do with like, with things like mental health, you know, I talked to this girl, another star out of Nashville, and this was this week, it hasn't even gone up yet. Her name is Cash. And she was just, you know, so honest with like her struggles with mental health and which was, I had no idea this was even going to come up in the interview, but it was fascinating. And she, you know, really wants to help others, I think, which was nice to hear. Absolutely. And now you are on the third season, right? Is there a focus or connection between the episodes this season? Yeah. So um, one thing about this season that I I wanted to try and have everything kind of tie in a little bit um, is mindset. So, you know, even for entrepreneurs or, you know, business owners or whatever, athletes or whoever it is, always need to have a, the right mindset, you know, when you're going into something. So um, I was interviewing a rock climber. Um, his name is Alex Honnold, and he was, he's in a movie right now called The Last Tapui, which is on Disney Plus. He was telling me about, 
you know, his mindset when he goes into something like that. And for me, I'm thinking this sounds terrifying. I'm terrified of heights. So I'm like, how do you do this? You know, what's your, what's your, you know, where does your mind, where, you know, what are you thinking before this? And for him, it's more normal, obviously, you know, it's like a more everyday thing, but, but I think it's something, you know, that we all deal with, you know, on a day to day, but you know, day to day um, thing and um, mindset's really important. So. It is. It is. Thank you. So how can listeners reach out to you? Do you have a social media presence? I do. Yeah. Um, they can just reach out to me on Instagram. It's Karina Michelle official on Instagram. Um, that's probably the best way. I'm mm-hmm. also on Twitter, but I'm not that active on Twitter. So it may take me a while to get back to you. Okay. And how can our listeners uh, listen to your podcast? Yeah, so it's pretty much on all the major platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so Apple, you know, mm-hmm. Spotify, most of the, I think, our iHeart Radio, um, most of the places that you would listen to podcasts, you can find it. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today, Karina. Yes, thank you. Thank you.